Hello everybody, Retro Rewinder here. Uh, still got a little bit of a um, rough vo rough voice going on, so I do apologize. Um, but yeah, I've got another pickup video here, so let's just jump right into it. Today's episode sponsored by Off Brand Apple Juice. Okay, I might go a little quicker than normal. My battery on my camera is not at a full charge, and I don't want it to die in the middle of doing a pickup video because I'm lazy and I don't like redoing things. So, the common theme you're going to see among these things again is mainly it came from pawn shops there are a couple exceptions toward the end which are some of some more of my favorite finds in this video so <clears throat> at one of the pawn shops i was at i saw a game and their ds uh, they normally have a case with their handhelds and sometimes they keep their games in there that game was pokemon white 2. i asked how much they sell their ds games for he said five dollars a piece I asked him if he could get into the case, and I picked this one out, obviously, for $5. <clears throat> the cool thing was, after um, I was getting ready to pay for it, he said, Oh, and we have some more. Do you want to look at them? And I was like, Of course I do. So he pulled out a little uh, storage, con little Tupperware container, and the first two things that caught my eye were Pokemon Emerald and uh, Pokemon Sapphire. I asked how much he charged for uh, Game Boy Advance games. Uh, you never want to like point out how much he charged for the Pokemon. You always want to say like Game Boy Advance or Nintendo or Wii. Never uh, general or always generalize it. Never go toward a specific game. And he said their GBA games are a dollar, so I picked up both those for a buck. And uh, three other DS games that they had was New Super Mario Bros. Mario Kart DS and Zelda Spirit Tracks. So I picked up all three of those for five bucks. And they also had a 3DS game in there that I was interested in. Unfortunately, their 3DS games were uh, $9 or $10, I think. Nine or 10. This one was worth picking up at that price. And that's Mario Kart 7. I owned this game about three times before I owned a 3DS. And then once I picked up my first 3DS, I never found it again. So it's good to add that one to the collection. <clears throat> this next pawn store was, it was a pretty funny story. I uh, didn't find any games. I've pretty much bled them dry of all their games. This is the same pawn store that charges like $1.99 for a lot of their games. I picked up some for 4 or 5 bucks. Grand Theft Auto for 9 um, But I was looking on their DVD and their Blu-rays, and uh, there was a lot of Blu-rays that didn't have prices. I asked the guy how much Blu-rays were, and he said that all the newer ones were uh, 9 bucks. If it didn't have a price, he thought it was $2.99, and then some of them were $5.99, $6.99. But if it didn't have a price, he said it was $2.99. This particular Blu-ray, Star Trek Into Darkness, uh, and it is a steel book, it did not have a price. So I got excited, took it up to the counter. He said he would have to look it up. And he determined that it was a newer movie, but the lady said not to charge me $9, to charge me uh, 5 So I was happy paying 5 um, I just plan on uh, flipping this one. I think I could probably get about 25 or 30 for it, because it is a uh, Blu-ray and the DVD combo pack. The cool thing was, though, as I was standing there, I looked at some of their systems, uh, Xbox One, PS4, and Wii U, and they all had uh, games with them. And what that normally means is when they put the game there is that they're selling it as a bundle. And this game was sitting on the Wii U. Super Mario 3D World. So I asked the guy if that game was for sale, and uh, he said it was. And I said, um, and I made made sure to be clear that, you know, I didn't want the whole bundle. I just wanted the one game. And he said, yeah, uh, they just set the games over there to show that they, the systems work. 
which almost all the other pawn shops in this area, they set the games with them if they're selling them as a bundle. So the guy told me he, uh, he looked over on this little price chart thing and determined that he wanted $5 for it. So I got Super Mario 3D World for five bucks. At this next pawn store, I asked the guy how much their games were and he said six bucks. Um, so I found Portal 2 and Fallout 3, Game of the Year edition. Um, six dollars was still a pretty good deal, but I thought that I would uh, rather like to pay five. He wouldn't. <clears throat> Let's take a sponsored drink break. Try to uh, get my voice a little back. I dripped on myself. I did have one thrift store find this this week, and that was Animal Crossing. Unfortunately, it does not have the memory card, but it does have the manual. And uh, this was on a rack at this particular thrift store where I never find games because it is literally right next to a half price books. A uh, half price books, yeah. I don't know why that sounded funny. Most people do not go and donate their games because they could take them right to Half Price Books and actually get a little money for them. So I was kind of shocked to see this there. And they keep their games when they do have them on a DVD and CD rack. And there was a sign on the rack that said 50% off, but it didn't have any prices. Um, and I knew that their uh, movies were normally two bucks. So I asked, I just looked at the lady, I said, how much is this with 50% off? And she said it was a dollar, so pick that up for a buck. At this pawn store, it was a. Uh, found these actually on the day that I'm filming this. I was on my way to a disc replay that's about th probably 35 minutes away from my house. Um, and I was planning on getting at the disc replay about 7.30. Most of the pawn shops around here close at 7. And I was in this area getting on my way to the disc replay and it was 6.50. So... I knew there were there was actually two pawn stores, a Goodwill and a flea market in that area. The two pawn stores closed at 7 and so did the flea market. So I made a choice. I only picked one of the pawn stores to go to. It was the closest one. I got there at 6.55 and I'm glad I did because I found New Super Mario Bros. U for 15 bucks. New Super Mario Bros. Wii for uh, $10 and Batman Arkham City Armored Edition for $10. Um, I tried to see, you know, hey, if I bought all three of these, would, she, would you lower them? And the lady said she just put them out there. So um, still, th those were pretty good deals on those games. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and, you know, take the Nintendo codes and just flip them and try to get something cool for myself. The next two uh, finds that I have here are garage sales. Uh, the first one being... I asked the lady if she had any video game stuff. She said she had um, two games. And she pulled out God of War 3 and Halo Wars Disc Only. Um, these games really aren't worth very much. And I really didn't plan on buying them unless it was...